Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. Happy holidays, depending on when you are watching this video, it might look a little bit silly if it's not around the holidays, because um, I have my holiday sweater on, so you might be wondering what the heck is she wearing? But it's almost Christmas, hence the holiday sweater, just in case you were curious. So you have hopped on to learn about how to start your, your own dental hygiene practice. Now, I have started my own, it's been a couple months now. I had my first official grand open um, a couple weeks ago. It's the most amazing thing ever. I don't know why I didn't start this sooner, but now I want to help everybody else who wants to start their own practice, their own dental hygiene practice and how to do that. Because I, I have learned so much along the way. I made a lot of mistakes. I spent money that I might not have had to spend. I could have spent more in other places, you know, just that kind of thing where it's just not that popular of a thing right now. Um, dental hygienists in Ontario. So this is specific to Ontario. Depending on where you're watching this, you might not be able to open up your own practice because we all um, have different rules where we are working. So keep that in mind. But in Ontario, we have been allowed to open up our own practice since 2007. I was still in school at that point, so clearly that was not happening, and I wanted to get a lot of experience first. I'm at the point in my life where I want to work less, but I want to make as much money as I can working the hours that I'm working and doing my own thing. I have said this to so many people, I'm just not meant to work for somebody else. I'm not. Um, I have owned my own um, tutoring company where I tutor dental hygiene and dental assisting students since 2005. I teach as well. I just, I just help people be the best dental professional that they can be with passion because I find there's too much negativity in this business. It depends on who you talk to. The sad thing is a lot of students or potential students talk to certain dental hygienists who might not like the, the profession. They're tired, they're worn out, and they basically tell them, don't do it. Don't go to school to be either a dental assistant or a dental hygienist. And I think that's horrible because it's a great career, but you have to be passionate and you have to work for an office. That's amazing too. There aren't such amazing offices out there. You have to be careful, but that's like in any occupation. But that's why I am starting my own thing, my own dental L mobile hygiene business and I want to teach as many people as I can to start their own business also now I do suggest that if you are a new graduate don't even think about it yet get your experience first you know get as much experience as possible because I learned so much being a dental assistant first I was a dental receptionist also for about a year that has helped me tons learning about insurance, learning about claim forms. Dental assistings helped me know the different types of, you know, sterilizers, knowing where to order things from, just kind of things that as a dental hygienist, you don't have to do typically. So even if you learned how to do them, you forget. So all of that has helped me so much. I have 14 years experience now. So you know what? It was my time to start my own thing. And again, I want to help as many people as possible. So I have actually started my own course. It's an amazing course. It is called Dental L R D H for obviously um, registered dental hygienist. So if you are interested in opening up your own practice, let me know, sign up, it's all right there. You will see me talking about it, me you know, teaching about it, me offering helpful tips, what to do, what not to do. And I had literally started recording videos from day one, you know, sharing my experiences. I even have um, a video of me coming back from getting my $30,000 small business loan. I have a video of me talking about, oh my goodness, I just met with a Patterson rep and I'm going to throw up. Um, how much money I just spent on a sterilizer, you know, so I talk about all of that. I am true, I am real. I tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, the amazing, and just things that I have learned along the way, because I have been 
this has been in the works my own business for a couple months now and i have seen a lot of patience i've made some mistakes i have done some amazing things so i want to share all of that and help other people because i want to be as transparent as possible because that's what i had a hard time with when i was looking for somebody to talk to just to offer advice on starting my own business, there was no dental hygienist out there who was willing to take the time to talk to me. I hate to say that, it, counts, it, it sounds kind of sad. I don't mean for it to sound like a pity party, but nobody wanted to really answer my questions. I think they saw me as competition, I don't know. But even now, um, my good um, hygiene friend, Kathleen, if you are watching this, hello. I am talking to her about starting up her own thing. She is, I guess, my competition, but we don't see it like that because she's from a different area. She sees different patients. Even if she was in the same city as me, Kitchener, Waterloo, it doesn't matter because there's so many people out there, so many people that we can help. So we have talked a ton, like back and forth, you know, helping each other out with our own businesses. So I want to help all of you out. But inside my Dental LRGH course, it's not just about starting your own practice. It is talking about being a dental hygienist. It is talking about tax time. It's talking about how to talk to patients, about plaque, tartar, stain, um, gingivitis, perio. I talk about what to do if you work for a horrible office, how to get through it, and maybe it's time for you to quit. You know, I just talk about everything. Like I said, the good, the bad, the real, the amazing, I talk about it, you guys. I have no shame. I just help with everything. I'm a teacher also, so I will also talk about, you know, things that you might want to know of. Like, let's talk about the um, differences between the piezo and the capitron. I prefer the piezo and I talk about why. Let's talk about medical emergencies. Let's talk about special needs patients. So this course is not only for if you want to open up your own practice, but it is for every dental hygienist out there. If you have just started out, if you have 20 years experience, I just talk about everything, you guys. I do, and I make it fun. I make it exciting because we all need to support one another. We need the passion to work for our patients and get excited because we see patients who are nervous. They are scared. But after a 10 hour day, not having lunch, you know, having to wake up tomorrow at 7 30 to start work again, we might not be on our best. I guess, behavior, seeing these patients that need us to be top notch. So I help to give you guys passion, okay? But at the same time, I do help you if you need help. If you need help looking for another office, if you need help with your resume, if you need help with, hey, can you just look at the resume, see if it's any good? I help you guys with everything, okay? Because another thing that I'm starting to notice is in Facebook groups, there's a lot of negativity. Any question you tend to ask, myself included, I have asked questions and I get beaten up basically with, oh, how come you don't know this answer? Or we're not helping you because you just wanna help your business or something. I remember posting um, about, hey guys, um, I'm just excited to share. I have opened up my own Dental L mobile hygiene business. And this was in the group Ontario Dental Hygienists, uh, Ontario Hygiene Network, Ontario Dental Hygiene Network, something like that. And the admin blocked me. She blocked me and kicked me out because she says that I was advertising my business. And all I wanted to do was just share that I did open up my own dental L mobile hygiene business and I was excited and I wanted to give that encouragement for others to do the same, but I got blocked and kicked out. So I kind of feel online these days, you can't always share or ask the questions that you want to, but in my course, my dental L RGH course, you have that full inf um, information. You can ask questions. We meet online once a month to just talk about anything. And it might even be more than that, you know, depending on how many people sign up. I am more than happy to even meet once a week to just kind of talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. And students are welcome. So please come on in. 
Um, yeah, you guys, so thank you for watching. Happy holidays again. Merry Christmas. Um, the um, Dental LRGH course is on sale now. So come on in. It's a one-time fee for life. So you know what? It's totally worth it. Think of it as a business expense, you guys. Come tax time, it is a business expense. So I am excited to see you all inside. I will probably do a live um, video with those members shortly to just kind of say hello and ask some questions. So thank you guys. I will see you guys very, very soon.